Okay, turn to Nimrod and answer this question. How do you find the area of some surface? Just tell Nimrod how you do it. How would you do it? Okay. Is anyone sitting next to a Nimrod that came up with uh, light times width? Okay. Have I got a deal for you? On the side, I also have a job selling real estate, and I happen to have two properties, two farms. They're each a million dollars. They're a steal. And both of these farms are exactly the same as far as the, uh, the water and the dirt and the, the farming stuff. I'm a city boy. Uh, so we just want the biggest farm, the one that's got the most area. And so if we look at farm uh, number two, and we apply the formula length times width, uh, we get the area. But as you can see, that's not the farm you want to buy. You want to buy that farm, because man, lots of length, lots of width. So clearly this formula works for rectangles, but not so much for odd shapes. What are we going to do in a case of an odd-shaped farm? Yeah, put it in a grid. Okay, if each of those squares represents, a, say, an acre, then for farm two, there'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19. Yeah, clearly there's a faster way to do that when you've got a rectangle. If I just count eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I can multiply. That's just a fast way of adding the same thing over and over again. And that's why length times width works for a rectangle. But if I'm trying to find the area of this farm number one, I gotta go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a half, and two thirds, and three fourths. I gotta add them up. Now we're not gonna need to know how to calculate the area of something. What we would like to do is calculate the volume of something. Something that has an irregular shape. And I suggest to you that this guy has an irregular shape. Not an uncommon shape, but an irregular shape. Would you agree? It's the shape that all of us are going to assume at some point <laughs> in our lives. Trust me. Okay, now if I wanted to uh, find the volume of that guy, I could do it by taking these cubes here. These cubes are exactly one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter. We call them cubic centimeters, strangely enough. And if I were to build a block, I mean, this would take me forever. We don't have that much time together. But if I were to build me a block out of these, Someone here at the university actually spent your tuition dollars on these cubic centimeters. They really did. I found them in a drawer over in the lab room. Not my fault. But if I made a block out of these, and then I carved an exact duplicate, I took out a carving knife and, and carved an exact duplicate of this little guy, then I could pull apart the cubes and count them. Being careful to say, you know, this is only half a cube, this is a third of a cube. And that way I could find his volume. Now conceptually, that's a very easy idea. But in practice, that would really be hard. First of all, I'd have to be a really master carver to make an exact duplicate. And then I'd have to count all the, the squares. 